Welcome back to the baby. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the baby. What's up, dog? That's my fucking. That's my. What do they call it? Light skin face. I don't. That's not. I though. think that's what it is. I. <laughs> you know how people are like. Yeah, I'd say, as soon as I wound up to say welcome to the basement yard, Frankie just went like this. He just went. He just went. Yeah. <laughs> Got me good. Oh, man. Uh, uh, welcome back to the basement yard. That is, I think that's what it's called, light skin face. Y- yeah, but it's not that. What is it then? It's kind of like like you're looking into the. Oh, oh like. Oh. Squinty. Oh. Yeah, but not like. Oh. I think I think the tongue adds an extra like sexiness to it. Like, oh, eh. No, no, you, know, you, don't, you don't think so? You got a pointy sucker over I there. I do have a pointy little suck bitch. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it's, it, it's very strong. Do you have a strong tongue? Uh, well, it's, I think it's, I believe it's the strongest bone, uh, uh, for muscle. ratio. Yeah. For ratio. Because like, yo, if there's something stuck in my tooth, if my tongue gets a hold of it, it'll knock my fucking tooth out. Probably. That thing is strong as shit. I've knocked out teeth back in the day. Yeah. Your own? Yeah. With your tongue? Have you, oh wait, hold on. No, well, well, like when they're loose. Yeah, when they're loose, I get under and I, it. I just, and I just fucking... You, you know when your tooth is loose when you're a kid and you just go... And it just like comes oh, in no. and out? <laughs> you no, ever I do that? Did that, no. What? No, 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 no. I did that with every single one of my teeth. Really? Every single one. Did you ever... Did you do the classic tie a fucking thing around it and slam a door? I want to say I have. Yeah. Have you done that? I think I tried it, but like was super not about it. My dad once tied... Uh, string around it and he ripped it out. I, I think I just like, I remember when I would have loose teeth and I've lost some teeth in weird, wild ways. I would like, just like put my, like my, the first tooth I ever lost was because my brother hit me over the head with a steel chair. Legit story. Were you in a fucking... We were in a cage match. Yeah. Yeah, we were. He was Triple H. So, I was... wait, were you supposed to lose this tooth or no? No, no. It was like perfectly normal. Oh, normal tooth bang out. Normal tooth got fucking ripped out. How did it... How... My, we were wrestling in my living room. And I remember... I remember... This dude hit you with a steel chair? Bro, legit. Like, oh my God. He legit hit me with a steel chair. Fucking bonk. And over like, the top of your head. Over the top of my head. And one of those, like, when you get hit with something, you like... Mm. Yeah, you know, the shit popped out. One, I forgot which one, but one of them just was just like, "I'm done." Did, I'm the, just, did the match continue? Well, duh. After the tooth came out, I like cleaned it up a little bit, and then the match never stopped. The match went on for like seven years. Really? Oh yeah, we we had matches. Fucking, bro! I swear to God, if dude, my was, tooth comes out, we gotta pause. No, I there was once when my brother hit me with the spine of a book and made my nose bleed. Uh, he, uh, I once punched him so hard in the dick and balls that it, it was like. They disappeared, and I, like, just punched his skin. I think I remember vaguely you telling me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Keith I, one time chased me out of my house and pushed me into a concrete wall, and the top slab just fell off. What? Into our neighbor's yard. Oh, the, the, the next door. They had the bricks on the wall. Yeah, knocked yeah. over the bricks. Wow. And then we both looked at each other like, we're in deep bad, trouble. Bad boys. Yeah. Yeah. No, if someone would have recorded the wrestling matches we had when we were kids, I swear to God, people would be like, yo, they have something. I don't know if they would have said all they that. Did, they would. I mean, they definitely would have. Absolutely. Wait, how else did you lose teeth? You said you lost them in weird ways. Yeah, so I lost that one like that. I lost another one by um, biting into a bagel, and I looked, and it was lodged in the bagel. I feel like I've definitely done that. I mean, I think like that helps, but like I remember taking at looking at the bagel and being like, yo, that's my tooth. And it'd be like blood in my mouth. You want to know something super weird? You remember in my basement, there used to be wooden shelves on all the walls. Yes. The wood was like soft. It was like soft wood. Okay. And for some reason, sometimes I would just like. <laughs> Here we go. Oh yes. Welcome back. There'd be a pole like this, and I would turn sideways. And you'd bite the fuck I'd, out. And, of and it. I'd bite it, and oh. I just go. Oh, it's all right. Dude. Like like I was a beaver, bro. I, I used to eat wood. I can't tell you how many times in my life I actively stared at pieces of chalk and wanted to chew on it. Chalk? I, yeah. I don't know why. Like I want to chew on things. I've never gotten into chalk. I, I mean, I, I never got into it either. Well, you but, almost did. But, like, I remember being, like, it was so satisfying when we'd go into that little closet with the fucking, the the the, uh, the eraser. eraser brush. Yeah. You know? And I'd be like, dude, I can eat the fuck out of some chalk. You know? I never did. Bro, you know what I just remembered that was, like, fire? What? This was, like, the peak of technology. I mean, probably not. But, like, fucking sick. I can almost guarantee not the peak of technology. Yeah. <laughs> But do you remember back in the day where, like, you know, usually teachers, they go up to the board, they get a little bang, bang, bang with a piece of chalk. Mm-hmm. But then some bitches would pull out that motherfucking, like, that motherfucker, like, that transformer. Fuck. You put a couple of pieces of chalk and you go, ah, 
Yeah. They made three lines at once. I was like, yo. Bro, they had something that'd be like four lines because they'd be. That's when they were like teaching cursive. Yeah. They'd be like, yo, big S, lil S in the lines. Yeah. And figure it the fuck out. And I was out. like, yo, how are we going to do that? And this bitch pulls out. <laughs> and then she started making lines. Yeah, I was like, man. God damn. I always. I, I remember everyone at the end of the class, like at the end of the day, fighting to clean the board with. Do they even sell giant ass fucking sponges anymore the way they used to? Bro, I don't think that they have chalkboards. Because well, the children, no, yeah. because of asthma, because you know what I'm saying? Well, no, I don't think that's why. No, because kids can't breathe now. I don't think that's it. I think it's just because, like... <laughs> <laughs> Me neither, but... I think it's just like, they're like, oh, what's the next step of teaching? It's no longer having chalkboards and just, like, whiteboards. I guess so. Which, also, do you remember when people started... Shocker! Everything's better when it's white! <laughs> <laughs> do you remember when uh, they would introduce... Into like the newer classrooms, like that electric, uh, electric, but like a the like a screen, board? and you'd have to go over and press the corners. Yes, and then it'd be like, okay, now the screen works. Yeah, you like, press oh, the corner. Crazy, and stop. Then they had like just like markers on the bottom, but they had colors on them. But like they wouldn't write on it, but like so, on the screen, it looked like it wrote. So fire, bro! That shit was super sick. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I had to give a presentation once with that like projector where it's like light, and you put like a like a thing over oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was about like rocks and shit. I didn't know oh, I had a teacher, my seventh grade math teacher he would do work on there and to like erase it he would lick his thumb and go like this so you'd be looking at the wall and you would just see streaks of his spit ew freak fucking disgusting freak what was his name say his name Mr. Powers piece of fucking ass weirdo bitch (laughs) he's not listening no I mean if he is hey do you know how many people we would like I would still do this if this show got like 10 million views an episode. Oh. I would still be like, yo, Mr. Powers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd find us. I would, I would hope so. I would hope we would get a letter and be like, yo, stop saying stop my name. Stop saying my name. I mean, I, I, reach out to, I reached out to Demir. Did you? Yeah. Didn't answer. Nice. Didn't answer. Wait, how'd you reach out? Pigeon? No. Did you send him a letter? Pigeon. No, in no. fucking Facebook. Oh. I got him on Facebook. He is just chilling over there. Yeah. Doesn't use it much. Apparently. I messaged him just saying, yo, you got Instagram. And if he says yes, I'll get it. I'll send him that clip. Because we were we were dropping his name heavy. Dog. Yeah, we were we were we were like no one's fucking safe from the basement boys. First first and last all the time. Oh, you got to do it. Except actually no, especially when you tell me not to say names. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then <laughs> and that? then it's first last middle social address. Yeah, exactly. You, know? you got the whole goddamn thing. It's all right. If you knew us at one point in our lives, your first and last are getting dropped on here heavy, dog. Yeah, probably. You know, but it's all right. It is what it happened. People will find you. You know what I remember the other day, and I was thinking about this because I went to. Uh, where, where are you with uh, Auntie Anne's uh, pretzels? Thumbs up, Auntie thumbs... Annie's. Yeah. Fucking great. Good. Okay, good. I wanted to make sure. Who the fuck doesn't like Auntie Annie's? There's some freaks out there, I'm sure, that are just like, yo, they're fucking gross. They're incredible. Fuck it. A a soft, giant pretzel covered in salted butter? Yeah. Hello? Or I sometimes I get the fucking cinnamon fucking pretzel. That's a mild And let me tell you right fucking now. Go ahead. Throw it on. There's a bar right here, Rivercrest. They sell a cinnamon pretzel, and it will kill you quick. But it's mad good. Big time bad for you. Oh my god! I mean, it's cinnamon sugar. Like it's. I mean, it's, it could be worse. You know, it could be like a deep fried one. Let me say something, by the way. Go ahead. I want you to say it. They opened up an IHOP over here. I am disgusted by that where company. The fuck is it? On thirty first, bro. Where? Across where the next to the library. There's the a paint, giant IHOP. The paint shop. It was the paint shop. Paint shop. It was an old paint store. What? How, what? It was you... like a, it was an old paint store. Is that no? What it, it was is? like a, it was like a like don't a Mandy's. Tell, like don't a Mandy's? tell me it's where the blockbuster used to be, Joey. A pro- yeah. I no. Think, yeah, dude. They are disgracing they blockbuster got, they got sacred ground with an IHOP. With an IHOP, and my sister went the other day, and on the men- she she took a, a a video of my nephew, and she's like, "Oh, what do you want?" He was like pointing at stuff, and he pointed at this thing. Bro, they sell pancakes in that place. This I don't know how this is legal. Shocker. They sell pancakes. Yeah. They sell pancakes in that place that have blue icing and then marshmallows on it. What? First of all, listen, who's eating that? Listen, At what time is that appropriate? Listen, I am gonna say if you want breakfast, if you want to eat out breakfast food, local diner. Don't go to fucking IHOP, Waffle House, uh, Denny's. They're they're disgusting. Period. Done. End of story. I don't care what you say. But that. Kind of sounds delicious, bro. I mean, it's gonna kill how, me. How uh, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly shocked. You're, I'm shocked that they are allowed to sell that. Do you remember when people flipped out because they they changed the P to a B and it was International House of Burgers for like a week? 
Yeah, I like, have. Haha, just kidding. Just kidding. Marketing scheme. It's like, we're still not going. We're still, <laughs> like, dude, we're, no we're one cares. Just, literally, I have never, like, you know how, uh, pancakes, pretty easy to make. You know, ah. pretty easy. They must put laxatives in it because any and every time I've been to an IHOP, my body instantly turns into just a fucking old faithful. There's something about the air in there too, because when I I was dating this girl who lives in New Jersey, and I drove all the way there for her. I, drove for her. Yeah, not for me. Oh, well, she doesn't live where you live. But. So if I just start fucking jerking you off, you'll come hang out with me more. Maybe a little more. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. <laughs> It kind of lines up. That's what happened to you. You moved to Jersey because of that. Well, well hold on. <laughs> and love, whatever. And love, you know. Uh, baby, whatever. Yeah, fucking. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Houses. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but I went and and uh, I think like her one of her like grandparent had just passed away, so I was like, oh, I feel like I should go. So I went, and she was like, you want to go? First thing, hilarious. She was like, do you want to go to like IHOP or something? I was like, yeah, sure. She, I was like, where is it? She's like, oh, it's like right over here. I drove for 30 minutes. I was like, that, right over here does not mean that. that. No, no, in no. In Jersey. In Jersey, right over here means more. It's like 50 Exits. miles. Yeah. yeah. So we get well, to Well, because you can get 30 miles in 30 minutes in Jersey. Over here, 30 miles will take you four and a half hours. Bro, literally, as soon as she said IHOP, my stomach went. <laughs> <laughs> right? So we get in the car. And on the way there, I'm like, either I'm going to shit or I'm going to throw up. Either well, way, something's coming out. Both. We sit in the booth, and I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna throw up. Like I think I'm going to throw up. So I go, um, I just gotta go to the bathroom. And I go to the bathroom, and I'm just staring at the toilet. Like, go ahead, just, like just do it. <laughs> you know, when you have that moment. Go first, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, yeah. hit me first. Literally, it's like that. When you when you feel like you're gonna throw up, you just stare at the toilet. Like, fucking, I'll do it. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, I'm yeah. waiting. Yeah. But I just, I, I. For whatever reason, I was like, yo, I'm, I, I, and I couldn't leave because I'm like, I'm going to throw up. Like, I'm just standing here mm-hmm. like, I'm going to throw up. I'm in an IHOP. My body knows it. it know, and I didn't need anything because then I was like, I'm not going to fuck with it. No, don't. I didn't end up throwing up. I did fart a tiny bit. And then my body was like, yo, you good for now. <laughs> so then I went back to the table. <laughs> but I'm not going like, to like give you a patch. Like, we'll give you a couple minutes. Maybe 13 minutes I was in there, by the way. Oh, so she was like, what time. the fuck? What's the amount of time, if you're with a, a you know potential suitor or a partner, oh what's God. the amount of time that's like, we know something's going on in the bathroom? I think it's anything more than like seven minutes. Seven, bro, way less than that. Way? I would say, if, I would say. For a boy, it's if like there's, in if and out pee. Like, if you were talking about like in an apartment, bro, you have three minutes, dude. Really? You're talking about, we got to get a shit out and pee time. So if I, ha- if I'm at a girl's house for the first time I, and I know like, yo, I got to do, I got to fucking you shit. Yep. So I will hold it to the very last second and be like, <laughs> I think, um, you're I got to go to the, to the point where it's like, it's, it's basically almost there. So you yeah. go in, it's like, shoop, shoop. Dude, I go in there, pow, pow, pow! Yeah, you and then I get the fuck out of there in pee time. Fire off a couple rounds in pee time. That's yes. very smart. So you come out and like, oh, it was pretty quick. He must have peed. Very oh, dude, smart. Dude, I was firing off in there. Well, you know, I mean, I don't think I pee as quick as when I'm at the movies. Bro, when I'm at the movies... You're forcing it out. Not even, no, not even. I just, I drink, I wait so long to the point where you're saying, where it's like, basically, if I like sneeze wrong, I'm pissing my pants. Right. Where I'll just, you know, I'm in and out of that bathroom in like eight, Teen seconds flat, you know, a couple of seconds of washing your hands. You cool, know, COVID, but right. Uh, but yeah, I would say, at, you know, you got to be careful. But the reason I brought up the pretzels is because I was thinking the other day, and I was like, bro, Auntie Annie's is good, but the best pretzel I've ever had in my life was cold, wrinkly, and sopping wet. Yeah. that I used to buy in elementary school. Hell yeah, bro! They would our, wheel that thing out like it was like gold bars. Bro, our lunch lady. Miss one of them because we had mad lunch ladies, yeah, bro. We had like Miss eight. Vinny, Miss Rodriguez, Miss Lynch, Miss McAuliffe, something. I don't think that was one. No, we Ma- were there. Ma- yeah, she got married and changed her name. I forgot her name. Oh, well, it was Miss Vinny's daughter, I think. Oh, uh, Miss Amanda. Yes, but her. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Amanda. I remember. Come on, cuz we know the names, cuz. I know. What's, what's up? Miss Argy. Miss Argy. Miss uh, Lynch. Miss Lena. <laughs> That's remember a, that? Yo, that's a that's a low key Val- one. It was Ms. Valentino. She, I called her Lena because she was my grandma's friend. Yeah. I could do it. She lives on your block, she right? She did. Two houses down. Yeah, dead. Very dead. <laughs> I think you know what? Crazy though, her husband might not be. Whoa. Last I heard, he was like ninety three, still riding his bike, living the dream. At what point, mm. if you're an older couple, right, mm-hmm. and one of you passes away, at what point after the death you're still alive? Is it kind of disrespectful? And people start to feel like, uh, yeah. did you really care? 
Because usually it's I think I, th- I think when you're a certain age yeah. and you're really old and your significant other pass w- passes away, it's kind of like you know uh, uh, it's it's kind of it would be rude not to pass away within I agree. ten years. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I think like if 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 you're both over the age of eighty five and one of you guys goes, yeah, and you, you can't have, turn ninety eight, bro, not, bro, and even like I'll even go one step further. If you have great ga- grandkids. You don't need any more than that, guys. Just start considering, you know. Yeah, it's house money here. It's house money, exactly. Yeah. You're playing with house money. Uh, but yeah, I You're would say. You're disrespectful. Over 85, one of you goes, you get five, six years tops. Yeah. Then you could start just like, just, you know, like walking in traffic, you know, just like things that are just like careless and I reckless. Just, because you know, like when an old, like both 85, right? One goes down. And then you're like, and then you go, yo. It's only a matter of time, you know what I'm saying? A broken heart, the whole routine's messed up. One of them's one, the other one's going down too. <laughs> but then they live to be another, like another 15 years, and you're like, "Yo, did you really care about yeah, your wife?" You don't care that much. You're in, come you're, on. You're having way too much fun now that they're gone. Come on, and, like man. everyone will do that. Like, yeah, you know, miss, you know, and it's like yeah. you do, but like you've been around way too long to like actually miss the. It's person. Like you live through another presidency. <laughs> I don't, I don't know that you can do that. At least one. Yeah, two. You I, know, like, I would say, you know what? That's a good point. I would say after you're, if you're like over eighty five, two after presidents. Your, bro. After your spouse goes, I'm, I'm not even saying that. I'm saying one and a half presidency terms. Okay. Whether it's six years max. Yeah. You know, and you better hope that one doesn't get impeached because then you only have another. F- uh, yeah. Then, you it know, goes by the president. It does. Not it's by not the time. time. It's not, not time. by the time. It's literally president. Because if you're, if you've lived to see like more than 25 presidents, <laughs> right. Time to go. Yeah. And then usually like, cause it's, it's, <sighs> which I don't think that's even possible. In a way it's nice. Way. You hear about old people. One of them goes down and the other one is uh, like, they die a couple years later. It's like, oh, she died of a broken heart. It's like, yo, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. But on the opposite <laughs> side. It's like, oh, that heart wasn't that broken. You know, they stayed around <laughs> and they were like pretty happy. But if they're young, makes sense. Let them hang out a little bit. This is a great bit, yeah. honestly. Well, you know, it's not a bit. It's how we actually feel. <laughs> I do but feel that way. Boy, I'm those... not going to lie. I'm not saying they should die. I'm just saying at a certain point. It's I cuter go, if they do. I, right. It's way cuter. <laughs> it's like, if... It would be cuter if you would just die. Just go. <laughs> just go. Go for the, do it. You know how they say do it for the story? Die for the story. Come on, just die, do it. Die for love. Exactly, bro. I'm you don't telling think your you, wife's spirit looking down like, bro, you're still down there? Bro, if I'm, what are you doing? If I'm 85 and Becca's 98, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> she's not that old. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you right now. If she goes, I'll be like, yo, like, I have to, like, for love. Like, for, yeah. I wouldn't be able to. I'd have to go because I'd be like, yo, I'd miss her too much. Yeah. But if I got to the point where it was like, yo, she went, I'd be like. New life. Right. <laughs> if you're in your 60s, live as long as you want. Yes. No, one's, no one's asking you to do no, that. No, even 70s. Seven, I'm saying 85 and plus. Yeah, I'm saying like, yeah. 85 and plus, You, if someone goes down and then you live to be 96, I'm going to just start asking questions. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll wonder about how much in love you were. <laughs> You know how in love you were with that person. It's a, it's a curiosity, but boy, those fucking pretzels. <laughs> yeah, those pretzels, pretzels yo. Bro, they Miss Lynch, is she dead? She's gotta be. Yeah, I think she went down. Yeah. <laughs> I think she did though. I think you gotta stop saying it went down. <laughs> Why? This guy is getting me. Or up? I don't know. Bro, bro, well, she would wheel out this just fucking cart yeah. with a box on it, an un in, in, like unmarked, unmarked cardboard box. Open it up, soaking wet pretzies, ice cold pretzels, covered in just big ass chunks of salt. Big chunks, bro. Like basically like a rock salt that you put in your driveway. Right. Fucking fifty cents, babe. That no, was no, it. bro. They were two bucks. They were not two bucks. When we were kids, they were 50 cents. I don't know about that. Yeah, because I remember my grandmother once gave me a half dollar. <laughs> yeah. What is she, a pirate? Yeah, apparently, she was. Give me a shilling? She gave me some, <laughs> she gave me some fucking... Time, she, one time, my grandma gave me two shillings. I walked over, flipped the fucking doubloon at Miss Lynch, and I uh, tore that pretzel to shreds, yeah, dude. dude. And then I drank my Ecto High C. My Ecto Cooler High C. What the fuck? It was Ecto. You don't remember the high C ecto cooler, the one with the little green Ghostbusters ghost on it? I do now. Whoa, wow! That's, you have a weird, crazy memory, uh, bro. I have so many memories. You know what's crazy? One time I remember. You might be right about the 50, fifty cent thing because I, I know I'm right. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know why this stands out, and I feel like I have said this before, but I vividly, for some reason, remember it being pretzel day. A pretzel day. Yeah. Are you going back uh, to when uh, you were a kid? My voice is going back. Way back. 
Um, and Raja. Classic. Uh, Raja Raji. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> First last, first she, last. She, uh, it's funny how we remember every single person. Every single name. person. Uh, and she gave Miss Lynch a, a two dollar bill, and then she was like, and she, and then uh, Miss Lynch was actually feeling good that day, I guess. And she like was like, "Hey, who gave me this? Like, whatever." And then she gave her the two dollar bill, and uh, she like made change somehow because she's like, "Keep the two dollar bill." Or something. Yeah, that's that's a piece of history, man. I mean, is it? I still have a two dollar bill somewhere in the house. I think I gave it to Miles, and he has it like in his room. Is good luck. Also, do you see a penny on the floor? Go, oh, lucky penny. Well, everyone does that. You know, what was it from? What what movie was it from? Where it was like penny on the floor, and it heads up all day long. You'll have good luck. What never those? heard of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I, I don't care for pennies. Quite frankly, if it's... If Coins, it's, bro. Bro, a quarter? I'm picking that son of a bitch up. Quarters? I don't know what it is. It's still valuable to me. I mean, it's a quarter of a dollar. But, uh, like, dimes, nickels, pennies? Stay on the floor, you freak. Uh, yeah, I'm not... You stopping to pick up a nickel? Bro, there are people out there that collect coins and stamps. Just think about that. Yo, by the way, mm. now that we're talking about stamps... We're not going to talk about stamps. I don't. I don't think we are. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about stamps. Okay. Okay. Stamps.com is a lovely sponsor. Yeah, they're, they're good friends. I'm, I'm looking over here. I'm like, uh. <laughs> no. All I was going to say uh, use was stamps. that stamps.com don't collect from them. No, no, no that's not what I was going to say. Okay. What I was going to say. I mean, collecting anything. I mean, you're a collector. I, I am. I personally don't have any of that. You in collect me. money. Right. If, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say I. Th- I think that it is strange. That we still use stamps. I agree. As like, you want to send mail? Put a sticker on it. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we're not sending it. Too heavy? Two stickers. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it's a strange thing. I agree. But hey, stamps. I mean, stamps.com. Good friend. Not a- <laughs> certain, certain, certain things you don't want to change. You know, the conservative in me wants to say like, hey, like, you know, if it ain't broke, you know, don't fix it. Which, I mean, we could get into an argument if the postal system is broken. But, you know, <laughs> here nor there. Mm. Uh, but yeah, stamps.com. Good friends. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Oh, speaking back to the the, <laughs> well, this wasn't recording this whole time. No, 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 it wasn't. It was, oh it was. fuck! I no, was no, gonna no. scream at the top of my lungs. No, don't. That's not what I was gonna say. Uh, I do want to get to the first sponsors of the show though. Okay. Uh, the first one being BetterHelp. BetterHelp uh, is online counseling. So if you want to talk to a therapist, uh, they can get you communicating in just under forty-eight hours uh, with a licensed professional that will help you. Uh, they have licensed professionals that a they sponsor they specialize, I should say, in. Uh, family trauma or anxiety depression anything you want they'll set you up and they also make it very seamless to jump from counselor to counselor so that you you know find the right match for you um but yeah you can go check them out and also on top of that uh it you can get 10 percent off your first month at betterhelp.com slash yard that is betterhelp.com slash yard um definitely go check them out you know i've said this every single time i've read this ad is that i've i've been in therapy and i i think that it is amazing and i can't believe i waited this long to start doing it so I recommend it to everyone. Definitely go check it out. Betterhelp.com slash yard. Uh, <clears throat> and next year, uh, this is actually really cool. And if you have uh, like trouble figuring out what to get either one of your grandparents or one of your parents for Christmas, this is something that I am getting my mom uh, for Christmas this year. Uh, she's not watching, but whatever. Uh, it's called StoryWorth. So it's an online service that helps you and your loved ones uh, preserve precious memories and stories for years to come. Um, so basically when you get this every single week, they send an email to one of your relatives, uh, like a thought provoking question of your choice from like their vast pool of possible options. And then, um, you know, questions that you maybe wouldn't ask or, you know, just a deep question sort of, and then your relative will write their answer down. Um, so by the time, I think they do this for about a year, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. After one year, they will compile all of your loved ones' stories, including photos, Uh, into a beautiful keepsake book that you'll be able to share uh, and revisit for generations to come. So I was going to get it for my mom so that after a year, after all these questions and pictures or whatever, it comes in a book and then we can keep that book and it could be for like the grandkids or everyone and just keep passing it down for generations. I think it was a really cool gift Um, and uh, definitely go check them out. It's it's called StoryWorth. Uh, Go to storyworth.com slash basement and you will save $10 on your first purchase. That is storyworth.com slash basement. Save $10 on your first purchase. I think it's a really cool gift. Uh, So definitely go check it out, StoryWorth. And uh, yeah. That's very nice. That's very nice. Speaking of when we were talking about the dead people, uh, I I believe one of the things that we had uh, 
on this week's episode is the assisted suicide machine, right? Starting off hot. Well, we're 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, it was so weird to me. Like I, I pulled out like an excerpt from the from the article that I saw, but it's like in it's Swiss or something. Bro, they love weird stuff over there in Europe. Do they? Yeah, well, well, I don't know. Weirdos. They like like poo poo pee pee videos. They're all about like you know like hanging out and like doing like weird like sex art. That's a pretty big generalization. I I think I'm right though. It's across the water though. So tell me I'm look I'm gonna be one of those people. Show me evidence that I'm wrong. I can't. Yeah. Think about it. everything that you th- think is weird is originated in a European country, right? No. Yep. Like what? Squid stuff. Bro, if you think that squid fucking didn't. Like no, those, that's Japan, dude. Well, maybe they gave them the squids. No, wait, what? Maybe Japan gave the squids over. No, they got their own squids. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure about that, dude? They eat a lot of fucking seafood over mm. there. Well, oh, in Europe? No, in Japan. Oh yeah, I know that. I'm saying like, what if Japan gave the squids to Europe and then they started fucking them? <sighs> There's no winning with you. Okay. Um, but I yeah, I pulled out this thing, Philip. <sighs> Go ahead. Nitschke. Spell it. N i t. S C H K E. Nishki. Yeah, Nishki. Uh the pods flood the inside with nitrogen before slowly reducing the oxygen levels to one percent. Uh the process apparently takes less than thirty seconds and the person will feel disoriented um before becoming unconscious. Bro, that's heavy. Thirty seconds and you get a in the bing bang curtains close? I mean, I, again, as we were talking earlier, <clears throat> like that'd be a cute way to just be like, yo, like I miss I miss my partner. I want to see them soon. Like, let me just lay down and go to sleep. This is a weird question. Go ahead. This is a dumb question. Okay. I like how you figured it out in your head that it went from Well, no, maybe it's not a dumb question. Okay. Is it, is it illegal to, not saying is it illegal to kill yourself, but is it, is it, uh, illegal to euthanize? Humans. I, yeah, I believe so. I think it depends on country, but I think I think that country, uh, Switzerland, right? Well, clearly, they built a fucking machine. I believe assisted suicide is like legal, but they need to go through like. So my understanding when I was reading the article is like people need to go through intense like health, like mental health evaluations, and they need to make sure they're not make like, sure that it's not like as a result of you know like any sort of you know mental health break or, or right. something like that, and it's just like hey, I've lived a good life. I'd rather go out, you know, like on my terms. Exactly, you know, like people that are, have like terminal illnesses and stuff like that. If they, you know, say like, listen, instead of getting like really sick and like putting my family through this pain and discomfort, like let me just go on my own terms. I, I, I honestly like Bing Bang. I think there's something admirable about it because I would never fucking be able to do it. Period. Unless like everyone in my life that I loved was gone. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking friends, family, kids. Video games. <laughs> Video games. Video games. I'm fourth on that one. That's fourth. I'm saying like I'm. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd do it. But like, I don't know if I would ever be able to be like, yo. I'm. I'd be like, yo, in the back of my head, maybe I can fucking come I, through. I remember. Uh, I watched this documentary on YouTube, and it was like an older one. But there was this guy. I think they called him like Doctor Death or something. Doctor Kavorkian. Oh yeah, that's him. Yeah, what an idiot. He's very famous. What a moron you are. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Yeah, doctor. I think it's Jack Kevorkian. And he used to like euthanize mad people, right? A lot. Yeah. Like a, and I think at first they were like, "Yo, this doctor, what's going on?" Like a lot of his patients are dying, and like they were like figured it out. They were like, "Oh shit." Yeah. You ever think that like people in like the past, like if you were to be dropped in like let's say like the 1940s, you would just be smarter than everyone? Because I definitely think that. You know what's funny about that? People always talk about like, yo, if I was, if I went back in time, I would just like invent Facebook and Google. Like, I wouldn't know where. To, how do I do that? <laughs> you would just go to someone and be like, Facebook. Yeah, and she'd be like, and yo, like, that's what people think is gonna happen. We're gonna think about, yeah, like Google, right? It's like, yo, we're gonna create the internet, and then there's gonna be a site where you could put anything in, and it'll pop up. And they go, what? And I go, I don't know. <laughs> That's it. That's as far as the I, idea goes. I would, yeah, that's exactly what it would be. Like, like how? Like, where do we start? No, I'm going back. I'm coming up with, you know, the idea for comic books. I'm coming, and they have no fucking clue what they're talking about. So, yeah. like, I'm gonna make uh, all the Marvel movies. It's like, but you're not a fuck, director. Yeah, how the fuck are you gonna do that? <laughs> you know, Mr. Feige. Like, yeah. there's no way that you could possibly like. You don't have the tools. I would do the investing in fucking buying stock in 
Apple, Google, right. Amazon. Right, you right. know, like bing, bang, bong. Yeah. Those three things, then you're sitting pretty. But like these people that are like, yo, I'm going to like go back and I'm going to be the person to invent cell phones. It's like, how the fuck are you how doing you that, do it, Charlie? Idiot. Yeah, relax. You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do think about like, yo, <laughs> you're like, working construction. You're going to invent Google from <laughs> scratch? Oh, that's where all these ideas come up. You know that, right? Yeah. It's on the construction It's side. easy. Just go like, back and fucking do it. Just listen, make it. Fucking all phone. I'm saying is if I had a time machine, I'm going back and I swear to God, I'm inventing a screwdriver. The screwdriver. It's like, what the fuck are you? Like, okay. Like, what are you? Gonna, how you, you know what I mean? But I, I am one of those people. Stocks that, is probably the one though. 100% stocks. That's an easy one. You just, like, you just put your money in that shit. Yeah. I am definitely one of those people that would be like. Dogecoin. Uh, yeah, Before sure. the boom, I would definitely be one of those people. Like I believe that like people from the 30s are idiots. Like I'm smarter than them. Oh, bro, what? Bitcoin? You wouldn't even have to go back that far. Well, yeah, like nine years basically. Yeah, it was like a dollar a Bitcoin in 2012. Or and I'm like, like yo, that. bro, I'm dropping 10k on this hoe. Oh yeah, I would do it too. I would probably put a like maybe all the money I have. If you knew, all right, yeah. So yo, legit. If you knew. What year was this, by the way? I think Bitcoin st- was like, it started out in like tw- like 2011 yeah, or something But like, like that. it was still affordable at a certain time. I think like it was still affordable until like 2013. And I had a job. Bro, I mean, yeah, you were poor as fuck. So was I. But like, <laughs> I'm saying you can go back right now and you can bring one thing. Are you bringing cash and you're just throwing it at Bitcoin? Probably. Bro. Set your life up. Like you're chilling. Chilling. You're doing more than chilling. Yeah, I would just I would buy my block and just like when Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin opened at like it was like a dollar twelve cents or something. Oh my god, bro! Could you imagine? And then you just fucking guess what? Uh, what was the highest it's ever been? Like fifty k? I'll tell you what. It would be really hard not to act like a fucking asshole. Oh, I would be the knowing biggest. that I have thousands of Bitcoin. I would just be like. Dude, I don't even know. I'd be the biggest douchebag. I would per- I would purposefully put me in a position for people to be like, you'll never amount to nothing. And I go, one day. Yeah, that's the other thing. And is- then I just become a billionaire and I just like fucking do weird shit with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would I would go back and I would do. But I, I do think like all these people that are like from old times, like they're so stupid. I'm, I'm smarter than them. You know? Yeah. But- also, I would go back with Bitcoin and then I also would probably like walk into the office's of FBI and be like, yo, I'm just going to say what Jeffrey Epstein might be up to something. Just- oh, yeah. <laughs> Be, yeah. Just go back to uh, yeah. November, uh, September 10th, 2001. Just, just, be like, just, uh, just take a look. I gotta talk. We yeah. gotta talk. Just take a look. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I think uh, there. So what else? What else? What other? If you could pick, let's say five things to go back. Fuck the suicide assisted thing. I don't care. Yeah. Um, five <laughs> things you can go back in time and do. Uh, so Bitcoin is one. Bing. Yeah, that takes takes care of money forever. Yeah, all right, Jeffrey Epstein. I'd probably be like, yo, you know, tell this guy to chill. Okay. You know, that kind of thing. Um, and we're, we're talking back <clears throat> to the future rules of time travel, not like Avengers Endgame rules. Oh, like I can't like, like see myself or something? Back to the future time is like whatever you change will affect the future. Oh, no, no. Too complicated. Avengers Endgame is like whatever you change can't affect the future because your your future is now is your... You know what I'm talking about. It creates an alternative reality. Got it. So Epstein and Bitcoin. What's next? <sighs> Do you talk to your parents? Do I talk to them? Do you go back to 1992? But am I me? Like right now, hello? Yeah. I'm not like a child. No, you're not going back to like you're being a kid again. Like oh. you can go back to any time. So are... I could technically see myself? Yeah. Oh, I probably, I probably wouldn't do that. You wouldn't talk to your parents? Why, what am I going to say? What's up? No. I would do it. I thought about what it. What year is this, by the way? You can go back to whenever you want, Joey. Oh, yeah, no, but we're talking about right before Bitcoin. All right, that's 2012. Let's, okay, I'll go to 2012. I probably you, fuck with people too. Like, yo, end of the world. Wait, because <laughs> that wait, was 2012. Wait, you remember? Wait, wait, wait. So you're literally not going to go to any other times, just 2012. I said you can go to. Oh, any can I? Can I hop? You can do any time. Why is it so tough for you to understand? I didn't know if you had to go back and then just live from that point on. No, no, you can go. You can like fucking bing bong, bing bong, bing. Oh, bro, I go, I go everywhere. All right. So I'm saying, bro, dinosaurs. Fly. Let me see that motherfucking T Rex. All right, that's a little scary. I don't know about that. The f- who can? We can just hop right in the shit and bounce. But how, it takes 20 minutes to get it started. I wouldn't go. Probably, I don't know. No, <laughs> it's a little tough. Um, so we got Bitcoin. We got Epstein. That's the same year. So we can count that as one. How about that? While you're getting your Bitcoin, you'll call up the FBI. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, I probably go back to like, like, like ancient Greece, like Sparta and shit. Mm, fuck little boys. Well, I wouldn't do that. I'd be like, yo, you guys gotta chill. 
because I'm from the future and it's not like that. It's not cool anymore. Yeah, no, not that. <laughs> it's not cool anymore. It's not. She's like, yo, wait until they're 18, bro. Yeah. And he's like, yeah. And then he goes, we all don't turn 18. We just die. Yeah. Go, we, oh. our, our li- it's act- like we die in battle like 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go, bro, we got to wait on this. Um, I don't know. That's a tough question. I haven't really thought about I mean, it. You got some stuff? I, I, I know, exactly. I'm going to talk to my parents. What are you going to say? Just so like, just, you know, just like, hey, you know, oh, you're, oh, you know, just like, see, look around. Where would bit. you go? My house. No, but like, what year? 92. Before you're born? Yeah. And be like, I'm the baby. I just want to let you know, like. You guys are gonna have sex. I know. Well, no, at this point they did. Oh, she's preg. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you go, yo, I'm, that's me. That's me. Yeah. And just like let them know, like yo, like I want to give you guys some friendly advice for your future. Take it from me, th- that in there, you guys ha- just leave each other now. Yeah, I was gonna go. This, this ain't, ain't happening. Working. <laughs> ain't working. You or guys, at least, you guys wait, are gonna get divorced. Wait, ninety four, brothers are born, and then just say bye. Yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. just figure yeah. it out. It might be a little tough. Ain't gonna work. Uh, you know, <laughs> don't try to hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like have the kids walk it's away. Cute, it's cute. Amical, shake hands. You know. Um, we'll come together for family parties. That's it. Yeah, yeah. They hear you arguing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we can hear you. We can hear you. We can hear you. Yes. Uh, also, giving them like financial advice, like, "Yo, I'm letting you know. Yeah, you might. It might look like it's not going to pay off. Google, Amazon, Apple. Bing, bang, boom. Do it. Do yeah. it. Yeah. Everything that you can, whatever you can afford to put into it. And I'm not talking like a little bit. Yeah. Like go big bits. And uh, you tell your mom also, like, listen, I just want to let you know. Every single weekend you go to PA, I'm drunk in the house. Raging. <laughs> Dude, raging. Don't ever get, keep, don't ever, if you ever think you should get the door locks on the doors, don't do it. <laughs> you know, security system, yeah, sure, get it. It'll work forever. Doesn't happen, it does. Didn't. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Check the recycling. There's a lot of fours in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I think at a certain point my mom was just like, I don't care. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm killing Hitler. Okay. Little baby Hitler, I don't care. Gun to the head. Dead. Yeah, that's usually I don't how care. that goes. If, it, if I know that baby is going to grow up to be Hitler, I'm killing it. Right. You know? Okay. Three. We're on only on three? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I'd like, you know, I, I think it'd be cute to go to like 96. What the fuck is that? See us. As four-year-olds? Yeah. Just be like, yo, like, like this is the first day we met. We'd be like, yo, you don't even know. Joey, you're going to be fucking, yo, massive. Frankie, have fun on the ride. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And like I think that'll be cool. Oh, and then I'm buying a lot of Pokemon cards. Oh my god! How do you forget Pokemon? Yeah, I'm going to Toys R Us, crying, clearing them out, and then buying everything <laughs> crying. that they have. I'm yeah. saying like literally like yo, any box they have, yo, give it to me. Any video game box inbox video game, give it to me. Nintendo 64 inbox games video game, give it to me. All of it, every single one. Power Rangers, give me that too, bitch. You would spend a lot of money in Toys R Us. Well, what's up? You would keep them in business. They ain't going I, yeah, nowhere. Yeah, because of me, I would single-handedly come back to the future and be like, Toys R Us is now Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? I can't even think of other ones. There's supposed to be some good ones, dude. I don't know. You know what's funny? I feel like I'm, uh, I'd am i be... <laughs> I'd probably do it wrong. I have all of the information, all of the answers, and i probably still fuck it up. Yeah. It's like, why didn't you... <laughs> oh, just go, back, just go back and like... You know, like meet Tom Brady in college and be like, yo, I just want you to know I'm going to be your best friend forever. Yeah. <laughs> just like, you know. I believe in you, dude. I believe in you. No one else will. Just listen. Just go out there and do your thing. Dude, that'd be one thing. If you could be a GM, you could just draft all the best players. No, because then it'd be too hard to keep them. You'd have them for like four years. Yeah, but you have a cup of soups. Would you? I think so. Maybe, yeah. Like if you just didn't know. Be like, oh, uh, first overall pick, this guy, Tom Brady, never threw a pass in college. It's like, <laughs> what's going on? What is happening? <laughs> yeah. You know, second overall pick. I really like this kid right here, undrafted. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, just yeah. complete no ones. Cooper Cup, fucking whatever high school, whatever fucking college he went to, some shit yeah, bad yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, uh, But yeah, I probably would do all that too. That'd be good. Um, anyway, before we get into the second ads, I wanted to talk about this. Uh, I saw a video literally right before you got here mm-hmm. of, a, of, of a priest slapping a baby. What? Yeah. It was like at a baptism. Uh, Bro. And I looked, I looked into it. Yo, fu- like... You know what? I'm just going to play you the video, and I'll send this to Josh so that he can put it into the episode. Priests need to chill. But with the, Yo. Well, for a lot so, of reasons. Bro, let's be honest. baptism. We're talking about a fucking infant. Look at this. Bro. Did he just smack the baby? <laughs> oh, 
hold on. That's mad funny. They had a little. <laughs> Did he, he just <laughs> smack the? Yeah, he did smack the fucking baby. Watch this shit. Oh, the baby's crying. Yeah, the baby's crying. Nothing yet. Oh. Then he starts getting a little chalky with the shit. You okay. Oh. Oh, that's nice. He's getting chalky again. Yeah, he's getting a little handsy, bro. Well, that's, that's that watch, 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 watch. Yo, bro. If I look at the dad, look at the dad. He's like, "Yo, give me my fucking baby, you old fuck." Bro, I and don't he's care. like smothering his face. Bro, listen to me right now. I don't care what god you swear is out there. Bro. If you smack my kid, I am cocking back and I am beating the priest out of you. Bro. I am going to knock the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit out of that old man. Bro, I'm telling you right now, I don't care how much fucking frankincense and myrrh you think is going to save you. I am going to cock back, and I'm putting this fucking sketcher boot so far up your holy hole, it's going to fucking hurt. Yeah, I don't care. You're going to need more disciples dude, to hold me back. Bro. I swear, eternal damnation. Bro, I'm gonna fucking decimate the side of your. I'm house. not. I'm not gonna be one of those people that judges parents on like their reactions to things because like. No, that is a very awkward situation I, to no, be no, no, in. But what I'm saying is like, bro. Everyone, everyone is a fucking. You know uh, what is it? What do they call it? A backseat quarterback. Like, oh, what I would have done. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. If if I am put in this after seeing that, if I'm put in a situation now where someone does that to my either one of my kids, I swear to God, I'll jump in. I'd be like, yo, I got, I'm calling my old school my 2006. Yeah. Like, yo, I'm ready. We need to jump someone. Yeah. You know, bring it back to the good old days. Meet me at the church. Meet me at the church. We're jumping a priest. We're jumping a priest. That that was crazy. And then I looked up the article and the guy said he was trying to calm a baby. Clearly, he's never touched a baby before. Slapping them, dude? Bro, priests don't know what the fuck is going on in any capacity, Dude, it's crazy. Yo, I saw that video and I was all I was thinking about was like, this is a like a, a a newborn essentially, and I'm like this dude just no, like was grabbing. No, that baby was older. That baby was like a couple months. Well, whatever. But like just like grabbing the face and like whatever, and then slapping it. I'm trying to think as like someone who would be a new father. That happening, I would like not. I would be in like fight or flight and like just Superman punch this guy. Like bro, I'd be I like, would, bro. I would, I'd be like, yo, give me my kid. I'd, the, I'd hand my whatever my son or my daughter hand it to Becca. And I would be, I would start squaring up. I'd be like, "Yo, I'm, I swear to God, I'm gonna fight you right now." I, I, I wouldn't know what to do because this guy was 89. So I don't a, give a shit. A light shove would have killed him. He's gonna be fucking. He loves talking to God. He's gonna meet him real quick. Yeah, dude. We're you gonna, know, you guys, you're fucking clear your schedule because you're having would, lunch with the Lord. <laughs> I would get, I would get really like, fucking like evil about it too. I'd be like, "Yo, Father." I'm gonna. I'll be at confession tomorrow. I need to talk to you about something. And yeah. I'm putting my fist through that fucking. What is it called? The concession. Yeah. Concessional. Confessional. I'm putting. That's it. I'm putting my fist through it, and I'm pulling him through. Yeah. I swear, bro. That's that's aggressive. Crazy video, right, dude? I saw that. I was like, oh my god. I, all I could think about was like standing there, and I would just be like, yo, say hello to my grandma, <laughs> and just fucking blast him, dude. <laughs> at least, yo, at the very least. At the very minimum, I would have to slap this man for slapping my baby. I, would I mean, have to I, slap it. You know, you know me. I don't get violent with anyone, but when I do, I automatically grab the collars. <laughs> you almost beat up an old man once. You I did. That? <laughs> I almost beat the fucking. What did he do? He touch your ass or something? Bro, we were at Jack Jones. Yeah, I, I was. I had a great day. Just saw Black Panther that night. Was that that night? That was when it was. Okay. I was drunk. We were there with some friends. And, yeah. you know, ba ba ba. We were all ba. having a good time. Yeah, ba ba. And I remember uh, uh, Becca and someone else were sitting at the bar. And the, the bartender, you know, for some reason, most, if not all, bartenders in Astoria, super Irish. Don't get it. Yep. Don't understand. Yep. We're talking to the bartender. All of us were having a good time. He's a nice guy. You know, we're just chatting up. He's like, yeah, yeah, hard. Da, da. And. <laughs> This fucking drunk mess is like standing behind everyone in the middle. And he's like, yo, he was pretty tall. He was yeah, like, he was a big guy. He was like 6'2", I would say. Clearly in his like late 60s. And he was a fucking drunk mess, just swaying back and forth. And now, you know, I am never, I'm never violent. Yeah. I'm never violent. I, and I don't get beer muscles like you. So I'm sitting there and, and the, the bartender, like the guy was like bothering these girls sitting down the, bo the, the, down the bar. 
So the bartender like went over to him and I think like me, you and Pete went over to him and was like, hey man, just like, cause he started coming toward us. We were like, yo, do you mind just leaving us alone? And he was like, well, sure, I'm a sure, but I was do, I'm a sure, I'm a sure, drink him, you know? And we were like, all right, man, listen, whatever, you know, just, just, just leave, please. And he fucking took his hand and fucking dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it in between my legs underneath my D and B. Oh yeah. And I like. I was so shocked. I remember, I, dude, from that point on, because I don't remember what he did or like this story really, but I do remember you. He does that, and Frankie just turns around and goes, "Becca, can you hold this?" And she and she just grabs his drink, and then he just turns around and goes, and then just grabs this dude. Well, bro, like I'm not listen, like I, I, bro, I have such a good. You know how I you am. You treated it like you worked for the bar. You're like, that's it. Grabbed him and just threw him out my of the bar. Play, I actively remember taking him and dragging him, and in my head it was like. I am gonna do my best to kick the shit out of this guy because I don't. I'm no fucking tough guy. I don't think I was gonna be able to do it. I uh, mean, he was really drunk, so I probably would have been okay. Oh yeah, just a sweep of the leg, a couple knocks, he would have been down. He would have put him down. But as I'm dragging him out, the bartender hops over the bar and Pete, and they both like Pete grabs me, and the bartender like throws the guy out, and like I was just like my fucking adrenaline was just like <sighs> because yeah. I don't get like that ever, you know, and I, I like. I don't really care. And quite frankly, there have probably been times where I should have been punched in the face. Mm. But like, I was just, I was very angry. We would have had your back. We would have beat that old man to shreds. <laughs> it would have been easy. I wasn't even worried about it. it. I, I wasn't worried either. I mean, he was so <laughs> drunk, just sweep of the legs and just a couple knocks. He gave you a, what's that called? A, oh, Awkward salmon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It wouldn't have been fun. No, 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 not for him. No. What were we talking about? Um, beating up old men. Oh, yeah. Oh, old, priest. old priests. Bro, do you ever see the one of the priests holding the baby up and he just drops it into the fucking, you know, the holy pool or whatever it's called? The ba- <laughs> the what what is it called? For, like, baptizing? Yeah, yeah. Um, fuck, I don't know. The, uh, there's the Eucharist. There's... That's the body of Christ. Amen. Uh, <laughs> what's it called? Shit, the, um, damn, now I need to know. Don't I, I what's I don't, it called? Bap bap baptism pool thing? I, I call it the holy pool. I'm just getting Walmart pools. Oh, okay. What do you call the baptism pool? Fuck, I don't know. What well, alright, so no, no we got we, the name is it now. We we got a name for it now. The baptism pool. The holy pool. The done. Ho- the holy pool. Copyright, trademark. If anyone ever gets baptized again, they owe the basement yard money. You're done. Yeah, I don't know. Dude, I, I'm letting you know, like, yo, ch- ch- priests need to, like, chill. But, like, with that, I, it's going to be a whirlwind of hurt. I'm telling you right now. <sighs> yeah, no, that was rough to watch. I was like, damn, dude. I feel bad for the parents, too, because, like, he's touching the baby in a weird way. Like, grab the, like, not, I don't know if he was grabbing the baby's neck, but his hand being here just made me uncomfortable just watching that. And I was like, this is weird. And I also would be in a position where I'm just like, okay he's you know he's an older man he's a priest and he's clearly done this before like i'm just i'm uncomfortable but you know whatever but then like grabbing the baby's face i'd be like hey man you're not supposed to do th- you're not even supposed I to mean, do that bro i don't think i let like thinking of what well, ruby's 10 months now i don't think i let anyone like except for family that close to her like if, if it, i don't give a fuck if it was a priest Someone at a store, like no one's getting that fucking closer. And I don't care when it is, like I've never pre or post, you know, during COVID. I've also never seen that because my family's Catholic, and, and like the the my nephews are baptized, and usually you hold like the uh, the Godfather or whoever the fuck holds the baby, not mm, the priest, and mm. then the priest just does like a little pour on the top of its head, a little ladle, yeah, that's yeah. it. It's like it's well, super- like the Greeks and the and the Jews, they like they fucking dunk these Bro, things. Bro, fucking the Greeks treat it like fucking Peter and the Siziki. They yeah. fucking yeah, dude, it's like chicken tenders at fucking yeah. Yankee Stadium. Yeah, they get in there. The ketchup. They get in there, but fucking priests for a lot of reasons, just take it easy, man. You know, yeah, dude, baptize a little softer. <laughs> Jesus, do everything a little not bad. How about also, that? newsflash. Babies cry, my guy. Yeah, Jesus. The power of Jesus isn't gonna fuck. You know if that if that worked, he was gonna be like, oh, that was the smack of the cr- smack of Christ. The sm- <laughs> you know that's what he would have said. God came to me and said, slap this fucking baby in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was heavy. But he did apologize, and the, apparently the family uh, accepted his apology. Bro, I'm sorry. If you smack my baby, give me money. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, like I'm not gonna. I don't care what you say. I'm not gonna be like cool with it. Yeah, I'd accept a nice donation. Yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, let's get to these next. 
<laughs> Let's get to these next ads here. Speaking of water and baptizing, you can baptize your bloodstream with liquid IV. Ooh, that was really nice, You Joey. like that, don't Look you, that. bitch? Uh, liquid IV, uh, you know, they come in these little sticks. You put in 16 ounces of water, you mix it in. It tastes really good, and it hydrates you. They also have uh, an immune support one, uh, and they also have one that gives you energy. Like It's like the equivalent of two cups of coffee or something like that. Also, on top of that, uh, they contain five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, uh, and as much potassium as a banana. Uh, so it's it's good. You know, I, I usually use them because I'm a degenerate before I go out drinking for the night, just in case. You know, you want to stay hydrated. You don't want to wake up too hungover. I have a preemptive liquid IV, and in the morning I have another one just to make sure I'm all good, you know, in, in, the, in the hood, as they would say. Uh, but yeah, they're really good. Liquid IV, they taste amazing. My favorite one right now, the pina colada one is off the fucking charts. So that one's amazing. Um, and the watermelon one is just, it's like candy. Um, but yeah, grab your favorite liquid IV flavors, uh, nationwide at Walmart, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com. Use the code basement at checkout. That is basement at checkout at, uh, liquidiv.com. 25% off. Go get yourself some liquid IV. By the way, I have a ton if you want to take some. Because yes, I, 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 would I, have, love, I would love to take I some. I have a bunch, and then there's a, a box just came the other day. Would love some more liquid IV, because I drink that son of a... Bro, I'm telling you, and I've been starting to, like, give it to people. Like, when we have people over and they have some drinks next morning, they don't feel so great, bum. Liquid yeah. IV, boom, new man. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, and lastly here, we have Wargy, Wargy, Warby Parker. Uh, it is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams. Uh, and contact lenses. The glasses start at just $95, including prescription lenses. Uh, try Warby Parker's free home try-on program. Order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free uh, for five days. No obligation to buy. It ships free. Includes a prepaid return shipping label. Don't let your SFA or HSA dollars go to waste. Put them to good use on Warby Parker prescription glasses, pres prescription sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. Um, and you can try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash basement. Love Warby Parker. All, I think all of the glasses I've ever bought in my life are from Warby Parker. Uh, and I love how they have like little eye exams that you can go do like in the store. Uh, so it is, it's, it's really great. And like I said, they start at just $95, super affordable, uh, for glasses. Usually when I do them, when I buy them, I, you like, like I said, you get five pairs um, to your house. I usually buy at least two, like just to have like two different styles of glasses. They're great. Go check them out. Uh, like I said, uh, warbyparker.com slash basement. All right. Boom. But yeah, mm. so priests. <laughs> what are you going to do? Can't live with them. Can't. Yo, legit, have sex. Le well, yeah. Well, they can't. They're not supposed to, but right. they. Sometimes the law is broken. Uh, in many ways. The law, of, yeah. the law of the Lord and the law of the land. They yeah. fucking, they just take that in their own hands. They don't care. Sometimes. Listen, I know like not all priests are like, you know, child touchers and stuff like that. Yeah. But in my head, they are. <laughs> you know? Jesus Christ. <laughs> like you're, it's like, I know they're not, but they are. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Like I know people like, listen, I, I, I do not disrespect well, that's not true. I, I do disrespect. Too people. late. Yeah, but like I don't judge people that are religious because I, I honestly believe it's admirable to believe in something and follow a line of faith. And I, in some regards, do it myself. But like, if you if you like it that much to teach it, whoa. Yeah, I wonder. Like, what... no one likes math and be like, I need to tell the world about it. I mean, clearly there's math teachers. But I don't think they want to be there. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't think any teacher wants to. I be I think there would be teacher. way less teachers if it was like, Yo, you want to teach math? Can't fuck though, <laughs> and can't earn. Yeah, you're right. Can't, can't have money either. Yeah, well, they don't have that. Yeah, the teachers don't do well for themselves. But like, no one. You get a cool robe though. I don't think anyone that like gets into being a teacher. Like, I know like they they have a passion for like teaching. But, like, high school teachers, no one's like, dude, I love Abraham Lincoln. U.S. government so much, I want to tell kids about it. It's like, no, nope, not how that works. I want to teach the youth. I and I want to be underpaid. And Summer's off. 
That is big. That's big. But they don't get paid. They do get paid. They don't get paid yes, like they well. Do. I'm saying they don't oh, get paid oh, well. I'm saying they get paid in the summer, though. Like you would hope that the people teaching our youth are getting paid in that, you know. I think that is honestly psychotic that they're not paid more, honestly. Bro. Because that, that's a job that, like, you take home, too. Bro, some of and the also, most... sorry, but... No, you're not. <laughs> no, I was going to say just because, like, um, sh- like, Shannon's kind of, like, dealt with this or whatever, but a lot of teachers are given like a budget of like $50 to get what you need for the class. So it's like a lot of the time they're coming out of their own pocket to provide, especially in public schools in New York City at least, to provide stuff for these kids to have yeah. even. So they're coming I, out of their own pockets, they're being underpaid, and it's like they're doing... I, I think like, there's like there's like a weird line. Like honest, honestly, people that teach like like third grade and under, like... Like your sister is is in that world, you know what I mean? Like she's different because she's a special. You know, it's like a specialized uh, right. uh, career path. Uh, and people like are, like Chelsea, uh, like teaching young kids. Like I think that is legitimately because they enjoy, you know, being able to like kind of like form and shape the youth and like you know being around kids. And but like, bro, no one wants to be a middle school teacher who's oh. like, yo, I can't wait to teach kids about something that they're gonna fucking hate. When they're at the age of being an asshole. Yeah, and then they're just going to, like, cut my class and try to be horny in staircases. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no one wants... And that's what I'm saying. Like, high school teachers, no one's like, yo, I am so in love. I'm so in love with this topic that I want to teach people about it. It's like, no, you probably tried to do something and then ended up being a teacher. No, I don't think And it's that. admirable. I'm not saying... Let's I don't that. think that. I think that people, no matter what, it's not It's not about, like, a dollar amount or whatever. It's, it's what what they want to do like i think that a lot of people you know there's a lot of jobs that i think are like you know jobs where people uh are like i'm doing this for the paycheck and but i don't think that teaching is one of those things because there is a lot that you have you have to like really know that no 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 i if people that want to be teachers want i i i fully believe like that is a very selfless because they know that like the world they're getting into they know they're not going to get paid great and it's all about like the intangible benefits you know because of how they're going to feel I'm just saying, like, being a teacher of church. Come on. Yeah, that that I mean, clearly, I don't understand. I don't get like, fun. but then also like certain topics, like, yo, I can't wait to teach kids about fucking Vietnam. Is that like? <laughs> it's like no. I don't think there's that. I think I think you don't pick. I think it's more so like I know I want to teach. I don't know what I want to teach. Yeah, yet. and fair. then you find the one that you want. Fair, but like, fair, fair, fair. I know that they want to teach. I, I wonder though, in a very religious family, if it's like, oh, by the way, I'm going to be a priest. If that's if they're if like religious parents are like, that's fucking awesome, or if they're like, I wanted you to be a doctor. <laughs> you know, like is that like the ultimate for like a religious I think, family? I think that like some form of being, you know, uh, like a sermon, like you can, like you lead sermons and stuff like that, like you can be a doctor or a lawyer or yeah, what you're have a, you. And then you could just like on the side be like, yo, like I'm just chilling at the church and like talking. You could be a part-time priest. It's called like a deacon. Is that what they're called? Bro, deacon? That dude that lives on your block. He was a deacon. had a whole family. He was like my wife. And I was like, whoa, this guy's got a wife? I lived on my block. Yeah, he was, was like, a guy that lived on my block that was a deacon? And yeah, I didn't, yeah. Who? I don't know. He was he's kind of a smoky old guy, to be honest with you. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought I'd know of that. He was like two down, two houses, two a couple houses down. I don't know him. Yeah, I don't know. Dude's a deacon, though. Oh, well, well. I think so. More you know. Deacons is like, anytime I hear the word deacon, I, I think of like so many, like Deacon Frost, like people from like comic book villains. I think know. of the Major Deacon, which is a horrible oh, fucking <laughs> like bad, path. Bad connection to make right there. Yeah. Um, I think Major Deacon was like a war general. Well, yeah, it sounds like. I think so, right? Yeah, we're naming all the bridges after the, the, the war generals and Which, shit. Which, I mean, hey, if you want to get people to hate someone real quick, name a road or bridge or tunnel after them in New York. Bro, I hate George Washington because of the bridge. I'm, I'm letting you know right now, I, I don't know who Holland is. He's a son of a bitch. I think, yeah, what is that? Verrazano, you're dead to me. Is that is that the one that goes to Staten, Staten Island? Staten Island, yeah. Or whoever Staten is. Why do we call it Staten Island? I don't know. Do these all have to be people? I hope so. Everything's named after people. Tom's River. Astoria. It was named after like something Astor or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and then the last thing I wanted to cover here is that uh, the Finland prime minister uh, was out partying all night and she got in trouble because people caught her partying or whatever. Just want to say this, right? She's the prime mini. What does the prime minister do? Is that like president? Yeah, I think oh, okay. so. But it's it's like a you know like a European president or yeah. something. I don't know, bro. What does that even the minister? Like this sounds like very 
I don't know. I honestly, if it's not happening in the U.S., and even then, don't know or don't care. Yeah, but she was out partying all night, and uh, she's 36. So just the cutoff. Well, I don't know how they do it in Finland. Well, you have to be 35 to be president, right? In the United States, I believe it's 35. I think you're right. I think you're right. So she just made it by the United States, uh, you know, whatever. By the way, just going to say this, and I'm just going to say it, and I'm saying it now. What a fucking rocket ship. Oh, really? Dude. Just a dragon? Hot. Hot. Just a dragon? Dude, yes. Yes. Absolute pistol whipper? Finland prime eminist. Let me see. Her name is Santa Marin. What a Sorry, name. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Look at that. Yeah, she's pretty. Yeah. I wouldn't say rocket ship, Joey. I mean, when you when you put her in, like, we've never had the hottest president we've had was let's say it three, two, one. Barry. Barry. Yeah. Who's Barry? Barry Obama. Oh. He was the best looking president we've had. And no, JFK, dude. No, JFK was not hot. He what? Had a His face was this big. No, bro, he was hot. Bro, stop it. JFK? JFK was not good looking. Dude, I would take JFK Honestly, on a wild ride. Might have been a problem, but Thomas Jefferson, probably a smoke show for his time. Oh, disgusting. We're no talking way. about people who didn't even shower yeah, back then. They didn't need a shower because they just like radiated. Oh, no, they all know. dressed like idiots and they wore wigs. Fuck those guys. I don't know about that. Anyone that old, fuck that. And they also weren't doing a whole... That guy had slaves too. JFK didn't that, have that slaves. Was a pro- that we know of. True. We but, don't know about the JFK ones. Yeah. But you are right. Thomas Jefferson, that was b- pretty bad. That made him a lot uglier. Bro, the JFK slaves. is a handsome man. No, bro. You know when you look at someone and you like realize. Obama's a handsome man, too. You know when you look at who? Obama. He was the best looking president. You know when you look at someone and you realize their eyes are in the middle of their head? I look at JFK and I'm like, yo, his eyes are on like the lower third. This is a big old dome. He he's got a jaw. He's he's, he's just got, like a strapping. He's got well, <laughs> get a cigarette in this guy's hands, and I'm like, All right. nah. He was got wait. The cigarettes turn you on? I, I, I'm like black in my photos. Like I feel like minus all the problematic stuff too. Bill Clinton wasn't the ugliest. Oh my god, what? He played a saxophone, dude. He literally looks like Big Bird if you plucked all the hairs off. Joey the saxophone. You ever see him? Yeah, obviously, but I've never seen the man play saxophone. You ever see him? You didn't see him on Arsenio Hall play the saxophone? I didn't. Dude, I know he ripped. did do that, but. Absolutely fucking ripped. He crushed it? Yeah, we'll show you. You'll have to pull it up after this just so you can see. But Barack Obama, other sexy presidents. Uh, Dude, that's no. it. I think you have to be ugly to be a president. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, Ronald Reagan wasn't ugly when he was like. He was like on TV and shit. He was an he? actor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, so you gotta be good looking. He was a good looking guy, but then like toward the later years, he was pretty fucking gross. Let me see. Nixon, disgusting slob. <laughs> Lincoln, my God. That guy was like a freak. He was a fucking. First of all, must have been swinging wood. Uh, Reagan. Reagan is a young man. Let me see. Oh, Reagan is a young man. Sure. Bro, look at. Of course. Yeah. Look yeah. at look at uh, Joe Byron as a young man. Joe Byron. Yeah, bing bong. Joe Biden young. This is when he was saying that he hates gay people. Yeah, and he, he was hanging out with Corn Pop. Ah, this is a good looking guy. Good looking guy. He does not my type, honestly. Well, he's a man. <laughs> well, no, that's not what I meant. Oh, well, I, I would think that would be the main reason why he wouldn't be your type. Well, yeah, no, I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah. Gay people shouldn't get married. That Joe Biden. So, so she got in trouble for going out and just like just just raging. Yeah, just chilling. You know, she was she came out of fire pirating. Uh, pirating. She was pirating. She was partying at a nightclub despite knowing she had come in contact with a foreign prime minister uh, who had contracted COVID. Oh, so that's pretty bad. Well, I thought you got in trouble for just having one too many fucking well, Red Bull and well, vodka. Well, 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 wait, because I believe at least in the United States. The CDC announced that if you come in contact with someone, if you're fully vaccinated and you come in contact with someone that has tested positive, you don't need to quarantine if you test negative. I don't know. All I know is that. So the, what are they saying over there? What's like the what Switzerland or Finland like CDC? Bro, what the fuck? You think I know the, the answer to that? The, the FDF, the Fjord, Fjord, Fjord. That landed. <laughs> Crush that joke. Comedy boy. She, uh, she was out till 4 a.m. at this nightclub called the Butcher's Club. Whoa. Someone. There's meat in there. Meat hanging. Oh, you think she's just going in there and swinging her prime mini binnies? No, I don't think you could do that. But yo, imagine going out. Imagine, yo, your 36-year-old prime minister is just like out at a nightclub and you're like, oh, and you're like partying oh, you, with yeah, her. You know they have like techno trance, you know, clubs over there. Anytime I think of that, I think of fucking Eurotrip. 
And it's like I would love to get hammered with a president or a prime uh, a prime mini. All right, three historical figures that you would want to get drunk with. One. Albert Einstein. Wow. I feel like he fucking that, sets it off. That that would be really scary. That's like drinking with like Neil deGrasse Tyson. He'll like freak you oh, out. Oh, I don't I don't want to drink that. Be like, guy. do you want to know yeah. what is out there? If we don't know, scary. Yeah, I would be like, yo, chill with the space shit. Yeah, it'd be a little Let's freaky. Let's keep earth conversations. It'll be a little freaky. I uh, agree yeah. with that. Uh Abe for sure. Yeah? Yeah, dude. Okay. Um shit, I don't know. Maybe 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 like Napoleon or something. Just like son him a little Bro, bit. Oh, if you're taller than him, you're in trouble. He's gonna beat the dog shit out of you. I know. He's probably all bark no bite though, because if it's just the three of us, we're talking about me, we're talking about Abe, who nobody's fucking with Abe. No, he was like six big. eight. <laughs> yeah, he's a big guy. <laughs> big ass dude. And then oh and Albert Einstein, I could definitely take him too. Me and Abe so? are fucking bullies. You might like you like calculate the fucking, you know, like direction of your punch and like fucking I'll beat him like I beat that priest who hit my baby. There you go. <laughs> I I don't see like all right uh, the the quarantine thing that is an issue. But like this girl wants to go out. Did she know that she was uh, had to be quarantined? Yeah. Oh, she knew. I, I believe that she knew that she came in contact with someone that had COVID, and she was like, "These fucking cranberry I, I vodkas." Thought, I thought I saw what a shitty drink. I thought I saw a thing that she like left her phone in her foyer, or like at home, and I, that was the most switched thing that I can think of in a house. <laughs> And she didn't know that she had to be quarantining because they were oh. trying to call her. Yeah, I mean, I personally don't care that much about that part of the story. Well, I think that's the problematic part. Oh, yeah, but I don't... That's you don't, not... You don't care. Not on this show. You, you... <laughs> on this show, I'm like, kind of dope yeah, that the Prime Minister's out fucking slamming drinks. You think, it, first of all, you think that she's out there and she's just going... She's like yeah, doing she like... she Secret Service? Body... Yeah, first of all, is she like using it... Bro, if I had Secret Service, I'd be like, yo... I would move from my fucking area. I'd be like, yo, go get me a fucking beer, please, yeah. or I'm going to die. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to jump into this crowd. That'd be dope. <laughs> She's like, yo, Secret Service, go get me a fucking drink, dude. Go get me a drink, or I'm jumping into this crowd, and I'm going to ask people to touch me, you know, <laughs> and see what happens. Yeah. You never know. Finland? Sounds like a good place. Hey, it's got to be. I'd go. They have a lot of water over there that's good, right? Like the Finland Finland water or something like that. Isn't what that the thing? hell? I think I heard what does that, that even begin to mean? I think I heard something about that. They have good water. Yeah, I think I heard something about that. Okay. But she's trying to go out there. She's going up. First of all, listen. I've been to one gay bar in my life. I'll tell you this. It wasn't named the Butcher Shop. No. That. She might have just been going out with her gay friends. Speaking of gay bars, one time we almost went out to a place called Boxers. Josh was like, "Yeah, we should go let's play Boxers. We'll go watch the boxing match." Looked into it. It's a it's a gay bar, mm -hmm. and it's called Boxers because all the bartenders Frat. are just in boxers. That's so cool. Yeah, you can go. I I feel a way about that. Yeah. I I need to be with at least one person who's gay. I feel like I would be like yeah, appropriating. Be, yes, exactly. You would be appropriating. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna come in and fucking drink your beers. It's yes. funny. We need to get a token gay friend that we can just exploit to go to gay bars. Well, we time. have one. We do. We but do have one. Can't say his name. Doesn't matter. That's live in one name. One name we can't say here. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> what a... I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna threaten him. Be like, yeah. yo, send me like fifty bucks, or I'm gonna say your first and last. <laughs> You know, just let it fly. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Do you want to go on a gay bar crawl? I'd love to. We would to. need a, a, a gay man. I don't man. think we need to. It's not like I, an, an I know. ID. I know. It's not. It's an insecurity of mine. Why? I think if anything, it would prove the opposite, that you're super secure and I you mean, want to exploit obvious. these people. No, that's obvious. <laughs> then you want to exploit them. That's what I said. <laughs> no, that's obvious. But I would feel weird about being like, yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. That's just strange to me. I, I, I'm with you. I wouldn't do that because it would feel like I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, like, I don't want to, like, I don't know. I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea. I'll tell you this, though. That's how I'd get back at that priest. He, I'm not going to hit him. I'm going to go out to the gayest places I know, and I'm just going to have a blast. And I'm going to let him know about it. Like, what do you think about that? <laughs> want to hit my baby again? I'm going to go hang out. I'm going to tell people to be gay all the time. <laughs> priest. <laughs> Father. Priest. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, I think we can wrap up here, Frank. <sighs> Wait, can... You're like one of those... Anime girls. <laughs> oh, what's the good deal? Oh, boy. Yeah. They're coming for you. Who? All of them. The anime community? All of them. They're coming for you. I hope not. They're going to watch Princess Mononoke, and then they're just going to fucking roast you on Twitter. Nah, dude. I'm their senpai. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't even know what that means, to be honest. What does that mean? I don't, okay, I don't care. Yeah. We're not in the business of knowing things. Where, where can they find you, Frank? Uh, F. Alvarez 8085 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Twitch and Instagram. And then go check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. As Joey has once uh, told you, probably numerous times actually told you, December, all of the Patreon uh, you know, money that we get goes to a good cause. And I believe, Joey, it's the water project that we're doing that we did last year, correct? Yes. Uh, so... Uh, you know, great gift for the holidays. If you don't know what to get someone, they're a fan of the show, or you want to get them into the show, give them the gift of Patreon, baby. Mondays, they get exclusive, excuse me, Fridays, they get exclusive episodes, and then Mondays, they get the weekly episode a week in advance if they're the patron. So go check it out, patreon.com slash basement yard. Yep, and uh, go follow the show on, on uh, TikTok and Instagram at the basement yard. By the way, senpai, it means master or teacher. Oh, we crushed that. Sen- Absolutely crushed it. Senpai. Who says we don't know what we're talking about? Yeah, we know. Sometimes. Anyway, that is all. We'll see. Are your thumbs in that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But eagle-eyed fans would know this is. All a- right. Take it easy from Joe Santagato and Avril Lavigne, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> see you next time. Sugar, we're going down.